for June 7th, 2024. Talking about faith, trust, and life, and a couple of the people that I've interviewed this week for my podcast, those uh, interviews will come out in uh, July, early August. But we talked about, in different aspects, uh, the trust that you have to have in finding the correct doctor for your health, the, the faith that you have to have in, and faith and trust are really the same thing, um, the faith that you have to have in picking the right plan, and a big piece of that comes in understanding and in knowing your gut feeling and knowing that sometimes you need to go off your gut feeling on how things are going to play out in the future. And so it's not always just because the book knowledge says this is the way it's supposed to go. When it comes to your health especially, there's so many factors at play because you're an individual. The way you've lived your life to this point is completely individualistic to you. There's not another person in this world that has had the same experiences that you've had to, down to every single experience, right? Like there's not a single person, even when you look at twins, there's not a single set of twins that have had exactly the same circumstances their whole entire life. And so we may be very similar to other people, but we're different. And so when you have something happen and you need to get help, and this might this could be health, but this could be financial, this could be anything. If you feel like you're not getting the right advice, you have to trust that instinct because sometimes it's not what the book knowledge says. Sometimes it's understanding how to apply the different pieces of the puzzle to your situation. And that's where good coaching comes in, that's where good doctors come in, that's where good financial advisors come in, that's where good teachers come in. Like pick the profession and the best people at that profession are not people that live strictly by a specific by the book plan. They have a by, by the book plan, but they're able to adjust it for individuals. It's the same way that I coach my athletes. I have a specific routine thing that we go through, but as I tell every one of them, everybody's individual and everybody's going to react differently to the the form corrections for their running to the different exercises each person's muscle makeup is individual each person's endurance makeup is individual their vo2 max is individual and so you can't expect everybody to do the exact same thing and get the exact same result so as as the person who's searching for that answer you have to have faith that your body's going to give you the things that you need to be able to tell you which way to go. And sometimes that's prayer. In my case, that's what I believe in. I, I pray over decisions and I hear God's voice telling me which way to go about it. And in that peace that comes over says, okay, that's a good that's a good way to go. And it doesn't mean there's gonna be easy, it doesn't mean there's not gonna be obstacles. Um but it's the way that he has directed me to go. And so, and faith and trust are the same thing. And if you don't have those when you live your life, it, it typically shows um, at some point because there's going to be difficulties and being able to overcome those. You need faith and trust in, um, in, in what I believe in first and foremost is you need to faith and trust in God, but then you also need to faith and trust in the people that come around you to help you through the situation because we can't do it by ourselves. We need other people to help us through it. And that's a key piece of life. It's a key piece of having a successful life. And I'm not talking about successful in as far as bank account or prestige or career advancement or any of that kind of stuff. I'm talking about how you impact other people. And to be successful at impacting other people is the most important piece, I think, um, if you're impacting them in a positive way, of course, and in helping them. And and I've heard multiple people, um, I can't remember exactly who said it first, um, but it say that, you know, the if you want to be successful, help other people get their goals. 
If you help other people get their goals, you will be successful. Absolutely. No matter what part of life, if you help other people get their goals, you will be successful. And so um, that's the way I've started to live my life in the past uh, eight, nine years or so when I went out on my own, doing my own thing. I really started focusing on that. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it shows. Um, I get more and more referrals every day, uh, which is great. And I thank you all that are, that are doing that. But it's all because I have faith and trust. And, you know, at the beginning of this, it it was very easy and often for me to think, um, this isn't working. I need to do something else. Really, is this really what I'm supposed to do? Um, and my wife can vouch for that because we had many of those conversations of, should I just give up? Should I just stop? Should I just... And God kept telling me, every time I think about that, God kept telling me, no, 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 this is what I want you to do. It's it's my timing. I'm going to get you there. I'm going to get you there when, when I want you there, not when you want to be there. Because um, believe me, I wanted to be there eight years ago. Um, and I'm still not... I, 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 I do not believe that I'm anywhere near where he wants me to be in the end of this. Um, so I just keep going every day, right? And I have faith and trust that he's going to create that life for the people around me that they want and he's going to use me to help them get there. And so uh, in my mind, that is a, a successful life and I think that I'm, I'm leading that right now and trying to show others how to do that. My kids see that um, and so uh, they recognize that uh, maybe not all the time because they're young teenagers but they do mention it, they do see it and um, I think that's that's the thing that, that makes life special. That's the thing that makes life worth living. Um, you know, it's not about the cars, it's not about the houses, it's not about the money in the bank account. Uh, it's about the people around you. And if you f have faith and trust in God to be able to help you impact those people, you'll have a successful life.